This is exciting. Starting tomorrow, you can get a look at ancient Egypt from right here in downtown Jacksonville. Now, if you're one of the tens of thousands who happen to snap pictures at the Beyond Van Gogh exhibit, you are going to love it if you love that one. This one's called Beyond King Tut. And our Egyptian photojournalist who raised his hand and said, I'll go, I'll go, Fouad Raja, is enjoying his time there this morning. Let me ask you, because when I went the last time, I felt like I needed to stay longer, like I just let it cycle one time. But if, when I do this one, I'm going to make sure I stay and really, like, absorb it. Good morning. Yeah, well, believe me, Mel, if if you come here, you would really want to come every single day. I don't want to leave. It's so much fun. <laughs> Egypt, the mother of all nations. This place is this place is so much fun. I just starting um, having memories when I used to live back in Egypt. Um, it's it's humongous screens everywhere. It's just so much fun. And joining us live now is Mark Locke is the creative producer of everything here. Um, Mark, it's great to have you on the show. Uh, can you please tell us a little bit about what people can expect coming um, to Beyond King Tut? Sure, and a pleasure to have you, Fuad, with us today. Uh, this is the 100th anniversary of the discovery of King Tut's tomb. Some say the greatest archaeological discovery of all time. And with National Geographic's help, with their archives, with their photo archives, their video, their academic oversight of what we've done here, I think we've put something together quite special to celebrate this anniversary. Um, you know, folks uh, love Egypt, right? Uh, no matter where you go, I want to go to Egypt. I want to visit Egypt someday. And sometimes people say, today is my journey to Egypt. So hopefully we've brought a little bit of history, a little bit of Egypt here to Jacksonville. Such um, an experience, of course, it has a lot of logistics and um, a lot of preparations. Talk to us a little bit about the behind the scenes, how many people are involved, and uh, like, how did you prepare for something like this? Well, it always cracks me up. We have you in this morning. We open to the public tomorrow. 24 hours ago, you wouldn't believe it would all come together, but it did. We had uh, probably 25 people on site. We've prepared for this for uh, a year and a half, working with historians, Egyptologists, lighting designers, video producers. Uh, carpenters, uh, building the sets. It's uh, really a labor of love for all of us and so many people involved to pull all of this together and get it ready for the exhibition. Perfect. Thank you very much. And again, if you have never been to Egypt, I highly recommend you to come and visit Beyond King Tut. Again, I'm going to wrap it up in Arabic. كان معكم مراسلكم فؤاد زباني قناة الرابعة المحلية Jacksonville, Florida. Back to you. <laughs> oh, how special. Yeah. I so, love it. What, did anything really stand out to you? You know, you, you said it took you back. Everything. I mean, like, um, I, I remember I went with my school for a trip to Luxor, and um, when I was back then, it, it, it just blew my mind. And now I'm, I'm just remembering everything that I have saw back then. So it's so much fun. It's a very, very immersive family experience. I highly recommend it. Cool. And authentic. Yeah. Authentic too, according to Fouad. Cool. Yeah. We'll give Mark our best. Yeah. He was on the morning show about two months ago previewing this. So it's good to see it come to fruition and okay. become a reality here. No doubt. Fouad, we'll check out your Instagram page because I know it's going to be popping after today. <laughs>